Alright guys, how's it going? This is continuing on with the modelling series tutorials and today I'm looking at a very basic but fundamental tool called Loop Cut. And it pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin, it cuts loops. Now there's two ways we can utilise this tool. We can use the icon here on the left or we can use the keyboard shortcut Control and R. So let's use the icon and let's spin the default cube of mystery. Ooh. Now one thing you will immediately notice is when you hover over the mesh, it will try and cut in the middle of the mesh. And this is a great way if you just want to quickly divide topology. And it's a simple click. So let's say we want to make a cut but we want to move the actual loop. If we hold down the left button when we cut, we can actually drag the loop. So we can do something like this. Now one thing you may have noticed is, this tool actually has properties. So let me spin the default cube of mystery. And let's make a simple cut in the middle. Now number of cuts, that'll put the number of cuts up. Smoothness, now the best way I can describe smoothness is if you think of it as a taper, so we can actually taper the mesh in or out. We can control the fall off method, so we can change this from something like inverse square to smooth. And factor, we'll move the edges left and right, or up and down in this case. So let me show you the difference between using the icon and the keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to drop down the tool, I'm going to hit box select and I'll just use Control and R. Now one thing I can do is I can use the middle mouse button and that will enable more cuts. So I can do lots of cuts, I can hold down the left button and I can slide this up and down. And that's why I recommend you should probably use the keyboard shortcut. It gives you a little bit more control and it's a bit faster at times so you can actually start doing things like this. Now there is another tool and it's hidden away under the icons. So let's say I make a quick cut right here. So if we come to loop cut here, hold in the button, offset edge loop cut. Now I already have a loop cut here, and when I use this tool, I can actually offset the loop cut from the original. And that's a great way to get even polygons. And that's pretty much the basics of the loop cut tool. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter because I've got no mates. You know what to do. Peace.